So here's uh, here we are at this stage of the game, and this is where we realize that kits are a pain in the armpit. So I was hoping to be working on the nut tonight and just bringing that slowly down to the right size, except what I've discovered is a couple of things. First of all, is that this neck doesn't seat properly in the thing. So we've got the right action there, but too high there. So we're gonna to have to do something with uh, shimming or something, or I don't know. And then the next biggest problem is, I don't know if you can see it, is right there. Look at the height of this. I now have to find a way of pulling these out much taller. So I'm gonna need much different screws and stuff. Um, I don't really wanna be taking this bridge down any further, um, although there is the option to do that. But um, yeah, so this is just kind of temporary. So I've got to figure out how to raise these up um, and I've got to figure out how to level this neck out before I go back into doing the uh, nut thing. So it's just kind of it's put it on hold, which is a, a bit of a, a pain. Um, and it, it, I have to say it is because of the the inadequacies of the kit. So I don't know if you can see in here, but there's definitely a, a raise up at this end. Uh, and I, it's nothing to do with, it's how it lies. It could well be that the pocket isn't even level, but last thing I wanted to have to do now is to take that off and redo it, but I'm going to have to do that. So I think I'll just do a bit of that now because there's no time like the present. So you are just put onto there. So, um, I also changed the tuners over because I realized that, whoops, wrong way. I realized that um, they need to turn the right direction. So they do need to be left-hand tuners on here, which has just been completely confusing me. So off comes the nut, which again, the nut slot is not well done, so there's work to be done on there. Off comes this, off comes the vibromate for now. Off comes the, come the strings, off goes the bridge. And I can hold it. Now I'm going to take a look underneath here and I've taken my drill, a couple of things I wanted to do, like put the strap buttons on. My drill is at home. So I'm now going to take off these not very perfectly placed thingamies. Let's give you a better view. Sorry about this. I thought there was going to be one more video, but I think there's going to be two at this rate. If not more, I don't want there to be more. Anyway, so yeah, the... Um, the tuners, I had to convince myself that I need I needed to put in the right, the left-handed ones. For some reason, I was convinced they were going to be right-handed, but that would make um, Andrew have to turn opposite, and it needs to be the right way around, even though the neck is a right-handed neck. Oh, my lordy. Anyway, so let's get the neck off, and let's explore just what, if anything, is holding this out of place. So I'll take this off. Not going to be able to do much, too much to it tonight. But I'll try and figure it out, and then I'm going to have to try and find a way of lifting up these um, pickups into a acceptable position. Uh, and the thing I didn't do is figure out. Well, the strings are on there. I should have marked how much, but I can come back and do that. So the first thing off comes the neck, and. Please. Which side is that side's high? If this is actually thicker, I will scream. Something is cut wrong. I've got a standard size shim in there, which shouldn't be throwing anything off at all. It's a, it's a good flat piece of brass, I tell you. Okay, let's see what we've got. Let's go from edge to edge. 2504. Twenty-four sixty. Oh, so even that is wonky. So the far side is tall, uh, and that's why it doesn't sit properly in the pocket. Problem is, oh my god, it's not even flat. Oh, that's rubbish. Oh, I feel ill. All the way down, that is crap. Oh my god. That 
is that is just terrible. So I've got a real challenge now because this this heel is garbage. Which how would I to know that? Let's have a look down here. Is this even level? So we had that side was right. That side was high. That side was low. Yep, I can see why. Probably. Let's measure this. 1676, 1630. Let's try down here. 1682, 1691. That's not too bad. I'm not quite convinced. Right, so my problem is I can't afford the neck to go any lower because we would have to shim more. If I were to shim this end to lift this end up, I'd have to put another piece in sideways, which I'm prepared to do. I'd rather not have to do, but you know something? I don't want to be trying to cut this. This I wish I could photograph this. This is it's not even not even a straight line. There's there's a and if you can see this. It's just stuff you just couldn't. You couldn't predict, I'm afraid. I couldn't predict, I'm sorry. Look at that. See that? That's, that's rubbish. So you can see that one side there, it's thinner there. Um, and yet that side is actually higher. So it's curved. It's curved there. Curved there, it's curved there. So we're saying it's thinner there, but it's actually it's curved. But it still ends up being bigger. So two, four, eight, two, four, six, two, four, five, two, five. Mm. So. Oh no. Two five two four five. So even with even with this fall off, this is that's right. It's taller there, even though it's got a roll off. It's down there, which we know that's thinner. So I need to boost this one. So it's completely curved. <laughs> what, a, what a pig's ear! And I don't want to. I'm I'm not going to make any adjustments. I'm going to make another shim here. That's all I can do, I'm afraid. It's, uh, it's definitely not what I would want to do, but I haven't got a choice because, as I was just saying to um, my friend Alex, who was just here, all of this is a fixing, putting right undertaking when you come to, or well, often is a putting right undertaking when you come to shims, uh, unfortunately. Uh, shims, uh, kits, I'll get the words right out of my mouth. So when you come to kits, you're often putting things right. So for 160 odd quid, this is presented with quite some problems to be fixed. So I'm gonna shim it there where it's low. Um, question is how far do we want it to shim? I might even make it slightly shorter. I don't want it to be too much overall. Um, and so putting an extra bit of shim in just doesn't, isn't my favorite thing to do. But like I said, we really have no choice in this. I, if I were to try and sh uh, flatten out this heel, we would be in trouble because it would sit even lower when we finished in the pocket than we've already got. We would require this kit would require even more shimming than it already does, which is not ideal. You, your kit should go together with at least some clear leeway, space, headroom, whatever you might want to call it. So I'm going to attempt to get it on here. I think what I might do is once I've got this, if I can line it up okay with the strings, I may then, um, I may then. 
what may I then do? I may then measure up and see how high I'm going to have to lift up these pickups, which again is a is a it, it's a pretty crap design because um, you might say, well, you've 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 done the you know you've cut the thing. I didn't deepen them any when I made that reshaping, so they're the same shape. Uh, sorry, same depth as before, just a different shape. And the problem with that is that um, as a result, um, we're, you, even even with the original humbuckers, this thing would have been uh, the pickups would have been too low by a considerable distance. So it's not good at all. Now this one, I'm trying to get it to seat. That's better. Let's see what we can do. So we'll have to put the strings back on in a minute. Did I just throw them away? No, they're still here. I left my DeWalt screwdriver at home. That'll teach me. Claire said, bring it back so I can do the trellis in the garden. Yes, dear. He said. Gonna go around and get everything sort of as much in as possible. Didn't intend to make well, I was intending to make a video tonight, but I, I actually thought it was gonna be a video of me completing this guitar, probably maybe. I don't know what I thought I was gonna do. Okay, so that's now pulled in tight against the uh, thingy shim. And so there's that. And there's that. Yeah. Right, let's have a look down here. Um, hard to tell. Shimmed up, lifted up. Hopefully that's right. Hopefully. Right, let's try one more time. sure which way around this thing goes but I'm gonna treat it like it goes around this way it'll be perfectly fine for the purposes of assessing where things sit so yeah I just had Alex come over Alex is the drummer and founder of the band that I'm currently practicing with and uh, he's looking for a special present his bass guitar son, guitar playing son. Um, so, could well be making him a guitar custom. So let's leave the old temporary nut in. Well, you want something that's a special 21st gift. And we've talked about the possibilities ranging from anything from, you know, a guitar from scratch to uh, you know, uh, a sort of customized, personalized, perhaps more commercially made guitar, you know, all of which anything in between is possible. So that was quite um, interesting to talk through. Okay. Go a long way, go this way. This nut is actually nearly good enough as it stands. Oh no, it's a little bit down at that end. Okay, that's still high, God Lord. Does it actually go down any further? No, that's it. Okay, let's just check. If this is, if this is just on the 1.5 millimeters, I will be able to live with that. Yes, it is. It's barely workable. So we don't have to shim any more than that. What we do have to do is lift this end up a bit, which goes to sort of show how off kilter this thing is from the get go, which I find really upsetting, but. Right, now let's do a drawing now, the bit that becomes important. So we have the top of the guitar, and we have the string height. Let's see if we can measure it with this comfortably. So the string height just behind there is, I can never figure out which bit moves, that bit moves. Come on. Uh, 
So we'll call that 14 is 41. So the first one is a little bit there, string goes across there, and we know that that is 14, 40, let's say. Um, and then there's the back one, which sort of sticks out a little bit, not so much. And we know the string behind that. Seventeen thirty-two. Right, and then we know this is sticking up currently five sixty-one, five six, and we know this one is sticking up about four and a half currently. Good. That will help us. So position-wise. Position wise, it sounds good. Uh, this one, while I'm at it, I'm going to use this to take me a measurement from the nut. Uh, so the nut currently looks like this. Uh -huh. We have a notch there, and we have a notch there. We have. And what I'm doing is knowing that I'm going to have to eventually I will get around to finishing and putting the right nut on here. Um, I'm going to see how much is this one, where it's sitting, and then I can uh, it's about 0.1. So the first fret gap here is 0.1. First fret gap at this end, it's all seated in as tightly as it'll go, yeah. First fret gap at this end is more than that is it 0.7 or it goes by 0 0.8 0 0.8 so it's that so then we we need to yeah so what we then do is we measure this here and here and we go at the treble end as uh, for the base end we are 6.2 6.2, 6.2, and that's bass and that's treble. And at the treble end, we are measuring 6.2, excuse me, 6.2. Now, we know that that is, that needs plus 0 0.2, which means this needs to measure 6.5. 6.5 and we know that this is too much by 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 and that equals that should measure 5 point uh, 5.7 5.7 is that right that will make sense 6.2 6.2 the same this one is too big so we bring that down so that has to be half off there 6.2 6.2 which means that's not even even that's not even even so there's another little example of mismatched 4.72 4 4.15 <sighs> what the hell what the hell Cracky. So we reckon 6.5, 5.7, 6 6.5. So 0.4 of a millimetre down on this end. What are we going to do? It doesn't feel like a very straight thing. I'm going to carry on doing this here since we've got to do it at some point. This part. So what did we say? 6.5. So we had 6.2. We wanted the 6.2 was too low. We had to up it by 0.2. So 6. Point, I don't know, 6.4 actually, but I called it 6.5, and that's on the base side. 6.5 on the base side. That's 6.8. So let's flatten this out. Somewhere. Back to the way it 
shape first of all. That's too long, it's overhanging really. So let it sit comfortably. It wants to twist. Sorry about this crap. So it's not really a very good shape. It comes down there and twists. So there's something wrong with the slot. Well, surprise, surprise. Let's just clean this up, shall we? Give it a chance to sit in the corners properly. There's a lot of guns in here that I hadn't noticed before. Get the glue gone. Still tipping backwards, that means it's high at the back. So this, this shelf is rubbish. Hey, so we're a bit too chunky. How far does this one sit back? That one sits on there, but that actually sits well. That is pretty good, and that is pretty square. Let's square it off still some more. So what I'm trying to do is while I've got the strings here, just get this nut up to where we need it. It still wants to tip back. to sit nicely in there and this one wants to play a bit so that's a bit better okay so it's square uh, let's put a bit of extra Ooh. so a way of testing now would be to put this in place the string on it, measure the actual heights at either end. And now it sticks out a bit over the side, but that's fine. So let's just put this down here. Sorry about a long view. Should probably, should probably put you down this end with a better view. So I'm kind of back, gone back behind schedule, which really annoys me. There we go. Let's work from there. Um, so what I'm looking for, I'm looking for height above ground. So that's about the right action at that end. That's about the right action at that end. And we're looking for, what's this, point seven, too much. Ooh, point seven was more. So that's point seven, point seven, that's really point nine, where's 20? Point nine, 1790 on the base side. They say 0.9, so we're on a minus 0 0.6 still. Trouble side, more than nine. Trouble side, uh, 105. Trouble side 105, that's about right. Trouble side 105, let's call it one. 5, 115, trouble side 115. It's 115 at least. It's probably 120. Let's call it 120. So we're going to be 9, not point 0.9 off that one. So it's a lot to take off. Um, minus point 0.9 gives us point 0.3. So back to the scrubbing board. We've got 0.9 off one side, 
and 0.6 off the other side. So 0.9 off the base side and, sorry, 0.6 off the base side and 0.9 off the other side. So let's try and mark it. I'm not that it's really going to work. Oh, actually, we can't mark it. We'll do it by, we'll do it by numbers. So off the base side, we're taking 0.9. So we're going to go from 687, 687, 687, let's call it 690 to 6. No, it's base is, base is 0.6. So 6, 27, 27, 627 is my target there. And we're going to go from 749 minus 0.9 is 649, 659. 659 is our target on that one. 1049. Right, so now 659, 627 and 695. So we know that's more on the treble side. So I'm going to have to weigh in on the treble side a bit. Sorry about this. Treble side. Treble side. The more off the treble side than the bass side. So we go. Base side, target 627, 682. Treble side, target 659, currently showing 701. 701, 701, 701. What? Oh yeah, we've got half, half to go, 50 to go. And here we've got 70 to go, so a bit more base side first. Did we say travel side? No. Yeah, it was. Even it up a bit, I think. So you can see how complicated this can be to get to the right action and arrive at the right action all the way across. So we've got 672, we've got 0.5 to go off the base side. 688, we've got 0.3 to go off the treble side. So it's more off the base side. So I'm trying to even this out so that we end up with the same sort of amount to go off either side to get to the perfect action. There's not a lot of leeway. So 627 with 655, that's 0 0.3, 0 0.3, if we got 689.3, that's exactly the same all the way across. Now even 0 0.3, 0 0.3. Now the real secret or trick now will be to get this so it sits tightly, comfortably in the slot space. So that's a bit, needs a bit too much. Put that go into the corner. Nearly there. I'm just trying to throw out a couple of little bits of grime. There you go, sunshine. Well, we're almost there. Let's try again. Target 627. We're on it. 627, we're on it on the base side. 659, we're a bit off it on the treble side. So a little bit more work on the treble side of its own. Six twenty seven on the base side, please. 
6.30 still, that's good, and we're almost there. 6.65, we're almost there. Now we're concentrating on the fit shape in the slot. That will, that's rocking forward a bit still, so we actually can't get that right up. So something about this joint corner isn't quite right, so I'm going to just cut a little bit more into there so we can make sure that we can reach it. It's often the case that the very corner of the slot, or the shelf, isn't. There we are, that's better. That's pretty much nearly spot on. So what's it doing? That fits into there nicely. And does it move? Barely. Let's take a little bit off the front edge here. Sort of uh, by feel, really. Oh yes, I think that's just about as good as we're going to get. It overlaps the end a bit, but you can live with that. I'm just going to place that on there now. Nice, nice, whoops. Nice, nice, nice. So I think the treble end is good. The bass end could even be a fraction high and fraction high so we'll just continue this but with a little bit of push on the base side Still side I mean I think that will be it so I'll put you back in the picture so all the time I've been doing this I still haven't figured out oops, where exactly the um how exactly we're going to create the lift for the pickups but that's going to have to be slightly separate job or calculation. Right, there we have, that's pretty good. So if we actually measure this now, what have we got? Slightly over 0.3, I think that's gonna be, what have we got? Let's call it 0.5, 0.5, 0.7, this will be 0.5. That's 0 0.4, 0 0.4, and that's 0 0.6. So there's, we're about two mils too much on the treble side. Two mil, two mils, 0 0.2 of a mil on the treble side. So I'm going to put my bit of, bit of push still. right down to the tiny amount now. What's this? Uh, 3.5. That still. So it's 0.5. Still, still too much on the trouble side. Keep going. to it now. Yeah, maybe. Steam. Losing track of my marked. Yep, a bit more. We're very nearly there. <laughs> Right, so plans for tonight. How do I raise the pickups? Um, without making an absolute mess because we don't have a lot of adjustment space. I can't drill fit the tuners yet either because I've left my drill bit behind my drill. Okay, 
I think that's very close to being where I want it. 0.3, still too high. Yeah, still a bit more on the travel side. Blimey. And you can see it just keeps going backwards and forwards. Travel side, travel side, yep. Identify it. get it to go down on that side. Quite difficult to sand just one side of it, but that's what I'm trying to do here. Sorry about the rubbish camera angle. My point three now. I'm losing track of my markers. Point three, can we say? A bit more, come on, we can do it. We can do it. Nothing like getting it done properly, and this is nothing like getting it done properly. Ah, you can do it. So this is the effort you have to do if you don't want to cut the nut slots down. That's much easier to just scrape them down to the target height, but I want to preserve them so that they're nice and low. Okay, that to me looks like the business. I'm gonna check the width of this thing now. Oh, which is Check this, make sure that felt right. Did that, feel, that felt absolutely spot on. So the width, the actual nut width is 42 and a half. Here it is 44. So we've got some, we've got some, some to get rid of. Oh God. 42 and a half, 44. So that is 75 off each end, right? Very difficult to judge. Forty-two and a half. Trying to get it sort of flat is pretty tricky. Forty-three and a half. Never can grind it flat that way. 43 and a half. Two 
two and a half we need. 43. Close. Now there is a there are some things here I could use, but I can't really do them without sanding the whole thing down, so it's not the best best idea. I was going to use one of these nut sanding radius things that uh, that I sometimes use, but problem is it would not not really do the job. I've got to do too much of a job, probably. I was just trying to level these out, flatten these out to a fairly uniform nut end. It's going to be 42 and a half. We're nearly there. A little bit on this end. That sort of looks pretty straight, actually. Okay, I think that is just about as close as I'm going to get. Now, put these away. That's it. I ain't going to sand anymore. So this is the final countdown. Nice and low, nice and good and low, perfect. Right, there we have it. That's that bit done. So we can take this off now. And that's it for these strings for the time being. Off they come, Oop, there goes the nut. Thank you strings, thank you nut. Thank you vibra mate, you can come off too. You can go away. Now, the next fun part is what to do with these. <coughs> it's cold, sniffy. What to do with these pickups? Well, I've got some problems now with the screws because some of them are busted. And I need P90, P90 screws. Uh, I should have some here. I don't know. Some of those brass screws. Grub screws, ferrules, so black countersink, push switches, clusters, button felts, P90 screws and springs. That might be a help. Alright, I also need some miscellaneous bits and pieces to try and find some pickup screws in there. So the first thing I know is that this. We need to raise this up by a lot. So we get a certain amount of lift we can do. So the question is how much lift do we need from where it is? So we know that it's four and a half above the, tur the top and the whole thing is 17 up. So, <sighs> Oh, would you come along? Is that it? Is that so much as we can lift? Oh my heavens. Oh my goodness. That's made things really difficult. Uh. So we don't have any movement. We have a tiny bit of movement. And that's, that's putting it under stress. <coughs> So we need this thing to raise up considerably higher. So we need how much higher? 4.5, we need it to go to, let's right, work it out. 17 minus three, 17 minus three is 14, 3.2. Okay, we'll call that 3.2. We call this 14, 14, this is already four and a half. So that's nine, we went plus 9.5 is our lift. So we will try and make ourselves a bit of foam at 9.5. See what we can do. So let's try cutting straight to begin with. That's going be a challenge. We've got quite a few P90 screws, which is good. So I'm going to go for a 
and as flat as I can. Oh, God, that's great. Wonky as I can. Okay, 9.5. Let's measure 9.5 or 10. It's going to compress, right? Yes. So let's make it more than 9.5. Let's make it 12. I'm allowed for some bouncy compression, right? 12, we'll call it there. Just guessing. We'll just try this as a in principle. Excuse me. Well, that's a bit off the, a bit wonky, you might call it. So that's got to go in there. That's got to sit on there. So we can get that higher, but we first of all need a better position. And we've also got to try and avoid that wire in there when we come to fit these in. So we've got millions of these screws and we're not doing it with springs, although that could be an option. And we do it with these, go down there. there get in there let's just try it while we've got the screwdriver out so here's our new screws and we can go to there and sitting on the sponge which is pretty good now, it still doesn't solve the problem of the threaded pickup screw but we can sort of leave that for now and come back So these are, yeah, right. that's not the right one. So one of these. Thank you. Get in there. And pull down, would you? Thank you. Get in there. And pull down. So that's sort of sticky up. Oh, yeah, that's nice, actually. That's good. All right, sort of solvered. Sitting down on top of sponginess. And we can go in a bit tighter with this one. To get it just to hold in place, like it. And then a bit more with this one. See all over. And you stay where you are. So it sort of goes down to there. You all right? Yeah, you'll do. Right, I think that's workable. Good. Now we've got to get rid of, get rid of, get these out. There you come. And now. We need larger amounts of foam, which will do the same thing. It'll just pull down, oops, into that. So this one, we had a total of 1440. I'm gonna chuck these away and use new ones. So we had 1440, we want three maximum, call it, 11 of which five and a half is already done so we want a six and an eight millimeter thick thing we'll keep those off to one side eight millimeter so we've got that one there already we're gonna, we're gonna make an eight millimeter block ready eight millimeters Something like that. How smooth is that? Indigo. 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 Where's my lines? Oh, there's my wires. They go straight through the middle. So we've got quite a lot of squishy squish whoops let's put that on there so i'm not pressing on the neck joint so that squishes down to that i think that's about right can live with that 
could be a little bit thinner actually. Let's go a little bit thinner. Same again, only thinner. Let's see what happens with that. On there, on there. Yeah, I think that's going to be right. There you go. There you go. Pull down. That seems to be a good fix. Well, uh, unless I'm mistaken, that solved the problems. Nicely. And that leaves us just just short of the yes. That's the way to do it. Just short of the thingy. Short of the strings. Okay, so uh, still can't finish until I've got me got the drill bit back for doing that. But I think that's a good. A good position to get to. I'm going to throw away some of these screws that have already worked. And we're going to call that quit. And we're going to go home. I don't even know what time is. Holy cow. Claire says, talking of catching things, what have they caught? Who? Oh. Can I join the group? Request sent. I have to join before I can see what you're saying. All right, I think that's a good solution. We've, if we were to put strings back on, we are close to it being in the right place now. I think we've got a shim in there that's going to get it as good as it's going to be. We need to drill those, uh, not that, the, the button strap buttons, but that will have to be next time. Thank you for sticking it out. It wasn't really intended to be a... Uh, video tonight but uh, that's what we got into so I'm going to park this up now and go home and feel pleased that I solved those problems there and I've solved that problem there um, yeah so if we were to run a ruler off the top end to the thingy we can say to ourselves yay that's pretty good. The black one could go higher. The neck one could go higher. So if we were to do that, we could back this up somewhat and let it wind its way back out. Trouble is, if you go too far in, you, you basically run out of grip. Um, you can't really back it out before it just pops out. It says, no, I'm not going to bother anymore because you've already screwed in too far. Let's have a look. Oh, you can see down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a problem. Yeah, they never tell you that in the thingy, in the books. <laughs> so I'll probably go to about there and that's going to have to be it. Um, let's get let's line up in one. Yeah, it's about three mils. It's about the same on each now. I think I'll live with that. That's it for tonight. I'm out of here. Thanks for watching.